lot of your older traditional firefighters, they're gonna laugh at it and they're gonna make fun yeah. of it and they're gonna they hate it. They I've watched reviews about it, they hate it, can't stand it. But I don't care. I'm looking for safety and uh, right. you know what, what's best for my guys in the long run. Exactly. I don't know, like I said, we just I just got it. We got built-in lights on the side. Uh oh, oh, we paid uh I want to say we gave three hundred something dollars for it. I probably would have a lot more than that. Yeah. I might buy one now. <laughs> uh, they, when I priced them, if I bought those helmets, I give our guys when they want to turn out here, I give them a choice between this. If they're, if they're a rookie, they get a black one of those in the yeah. beginning. Once they pass their probation, I give them the opportunity to choose between the traditional helmet with the leather front, this helmet, which is that helmet right there with this yellow. Yeah. Or now that we've purchased these, I'm going to give them the option to leave, which I would really like them to wear these just for the protection right. on the side. Like I said, this is the first fire I would have wore it in, yeah. uh, but I have played with it a lot and I've trained in it, you know, just wearing it around doing things. Uh, the inside, they come in sizes, like this is a large, and then they have a, a small, medium, and a large, extra large type. It's fully adjustable. This bracket adjusts. The front bracket adjusts to fit your head how you want it to. Uh, there's other options that go with it. Like they got a microphone system that comes down with a speaker and it retracts back up in the helmet and stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of little features that go with it. But what really sold me on it was the protection part of it. Yeah. And like I have fallen off stuff and first thing that goes is my helmet. Yep. Falls off. Well this thing, when it's on your head, it's on your head pretty much. You can stumble, fall, whatever. When you hit the ground, this is still going to be on your head because it's like it's almost like wearing a motorcycle. Well, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's why, and that's what it reminded me of when we were over there. I was like, yeah. Uh, so like I said, me and him, my assistant chief, we got two of them. Both of us got one. So we're just kind of trying them out to see what yeah. we like, if we like them or whatever. But so far, from what I've seen, I like them. I've seen the only problem that I, the only negative that I have seen with them is they're not super loud. Yeah. Like, they're like, they don't sound like they're going to be loud. Yeah. Like, they don't sound like they're going to be loud. He was egressing through a wall. This helmet is 60 long wider than the 16 studs. So if you was to have to egress through a wall, you know, where you can sometimes turn that helmet to get your head through, it don't matter how you turn this one, you're gonna be in a bind. You could have you would have to physically take it off and shove it through and then put it back on the other side. Which I mean, sometimes you have to do that with your airplane. So uh, but that's one of the few things I have. Not really the negative I found about it. And it fits uh, really well with the mask? Yes, it fits really good with the mask. And the other thing that I really like about it, that neck part right there, where that bottom fits, yeah. when your head goes back, your helmet hits. It's constantly pushing while you're crawling. It's constantly pushing on that helmet forward. And then when you get to where you crawl, you gotta get your head back in. Yeah. This one here, it just fits right back down back and you move your head all the way around the bottom. Right there. 